Tarnished, what do your elf eyes see? They're taking the hobbits to Stormvale Castle. If Legolas is your favourite Lord of the Rings character, this archer build is for you. Before we get into this one, if you've been watching my class guide series and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Just click that red button. It doesn't mean much to you, but it means a lot to me. So please click that button if you have been enjoying this class guide series. This class guide series is quick beginner setups to get you going in Elden Ring as specific classes, which you can then freely develop on your own throughout your adventure. Let's start off with character creation as the bandit. Now you start out at soul level 5, which is severely lower than a lot of the other classes. Your highest stat for some strange reason is arcane, next is dexterity, and then you've got a pretty average vigor and mine. You start out with the great knife, which is a very short range weapon that doesn't do tons of damage. I guess the main weapon you start with is the short bow, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You get the buckler. And and a couple of bandit pieces which we're going to look to replace in a little bit. Your keepsake should always be the golden seed and when you are putting your points into flask you want to put most of your points into health but I would put maybe one flask into FP for ashes of war like barrage and mighty shot when we're talking about how this archer build comes together. So how you play this build really is I've turned the bandit into this pure archer class and the sad thing about the bandit is it's a hard to get going in really any direction whether you even don't want to go the archer way. You have such low stats across the board and you can't wield a a lot of the weapons that a lot of the other classes can so from melee perspective you can't really get going and as an archer perspective you're gonna have a tough time really getting going in that direction because of you're not gonna have a whole lot of arrows you're gonna need to craft them you also need to level yourself up as well as the bow before it actually does decent amount of damage but essentially once you get a long bow you start upgrading the short bow you'll be able to switch between short and long depending on whether you want to do more damage at a slower rate with the long bow at longer range or quick damage at a short range with the short bow. Basically in most boss fights you're probably going to use the short bow but essentially the flow to combat is you'll pick off enemies with the long bow from range using the mighty shot ash of war and deal as much damage to them as you can. Once they start getting close to you you'll switch out to the short bow and deal like chip damage to them with the short bow at much more of a faster rate. You want to be keeping the distance away from enemies so rolling out of the way jumping back and shooting at the same because you can jump and shoot in the same animation. You want to do that quickly by jumping backwards and keep shooting keep that distance you can also have two arrows bound so one to r1 and one to r2 and you should absolutely make leverage of this to use different types of arrows so say a fire arrow and a standard arrow or poison or bleed or whatever it may be you should absolutely be using this it's one of the strengths of an archer build is that you can have different arrow types that do different kinds of damage so if enemies have certain resistances or weaknesses to certain damage types you can then leverage that by having these arrows but the key thing here is you're going to have to spend a lot of time crafting arrows or buying them you can buy standard arrows from practically every vendor they're relatively cheap if you want to get into some of the elemental types of arrows you will have to craft them but i mean the bone arrows aren't too hard to make to get the bones you really just need to farm some of the goats and various animals you see around you'll be able to craft a fair amount pretty quickly as long as you're spending that time it's just worth noting that this build takes a little bit to come together you're gonna to need to farm the runes you're gonna to need to farm the crafting materials to make arrows but eventually it does become a bit of fun for your attributes your main attribute really is going to be dexterity in the long run but i think putting points into endurance and vigor early on is important because we do have such a low health and also the bandit armor is very weak so when you take damage you're probably going to die so increasing your vigor early is important as well as your endurance because using the bow whether it's a long or a short bow does require a lot of stamina and because we're going to be jumping and attacking and rolling and moving around a lot you will need a lot of stamina to be able to keep yourself going and not get stuck having no stamina and then get one shot by bosses or any other enemies but then in the long run you know your dexterity you're going to put a lot of points into but initially because we start at such a low level vigor and endurance are very important gear to get for this build is really important to come together as a whole now arrows are the most important so you want to buy the crafting kit and the basic arrow recipes from kale at the church of ella you can also get the armorer's cookbook number two from the merchant southeast of the coastal cave and this is where you get the firebone arrow so you can do fire damage if you head towards summon water there's a vendor here that'll sell you the poison arrows but basically initially you really just need the basic bone arrows and the firebone arrows to give you some elements damage that you can do and then spend any extra runes you have on just buying arrows the arrows you buy will initially do more damage than the ones that you make yourself so you want to stock up on these as much as possible especially for boss fights if you run out of arrows in a boss fight like i did you are screwed and you're probably going to die. The, the, this boss fight in Summer Water was going so well for me and I just ran out of ammo. But anyway, you can grab the longbow from the round table hold once you have unlocked that. Basically, the quickest way to unlock round table hold is lose to Marga, the first boss at Stormvale Castle. After that, you'll get a cutscene. You unlock round table hold and you can buy the longbow from there. And the Arrows Reese Talisman is the last thing I would suggest to get. 
you can pick this up at Stormgate and it will increase your bow range effectiveness. I would also recommend to replace your bandit armor pretty much as soon as possible. You can just find armor around or you could grab the scale armor from the Castle Morn ramparts. It's also worth noting as well if you want to stick around with the dagger, the blood dagger, the reduvia that you get from Bloody Fingers is actually not a bad dagger that you can just equip pretty much straight away because you do have a high arcane but really we're ditching the knives here for the purpose of the bows. Check out my playlist which has all of these class guides in one place for you to find so you can go and binge watch them all. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.